Hey guys, so a couple things. This was going to be a Valentine's tutorial. There will be a few of them, but there's been a lot going on here uh, lately. Riley's being tested at school. Jax is sick again. I'm getting sick, so I wanted to do this, make sure I get out the giveaway uh, winners. But before I do, I wanted to show you I've made two cards so far for this season. I've made this one, which was made with the Love Nicole pad and paper pack I bought at AC Moore. And I just heat embossed some of those uh, hearts. I made a mixture of red and silver and purple and gold. I used a large uh, script writing black, wood block mounted stamp for the background on this. Just very faint. I used some of my Studio Katia gems. Two of the hearts are popped up on foam tape. And I used an XO die from AC Moore. I think I paid four bucks for it. And I also heat embossed that with the mixture of purple and gold embossing powder. And I cut the edges with the antique uh, paper cutter. Simple, but still a cute card. The second card I did tonight, I used that uh, wood mounted script stamp, sorry, it's four o'clock in the morning, for the background again, and I did that one in Festive Berries. I used a piece of the Doris glitter tape that came in one of the kits, I think a Christmas kit from Simon Says Stamp that I had left over. I used some of the May. June crystals from Studio Katia. I heat embossed different sized hearts on this and cut it out with a heart scallop die and I used a little bit of worn lipstick and then picked raspberry oxide ink around the edge. I cut out Love You and a purple glitter cardstock but I put that on two other layers of white cardstock to give it a little dimension. The hearts popped up on foam tape and that's it so okay so like i said there will be a few valentine's tutorials i was working on this was going to be the part of the card that i was going to do with you guys tonight and it's using a bunch i tried to stick with stuff that people would most likely already have but you could really use any hearts any hearts you wanted i cut the heart out which, again, I'll tell you when I actually show this card, if this is one of the ones I show. But I got these heart dies from Amazon for like $4 a couple years ago. And I used the third one in to cut this out. And then I did a lot of masking, but it wasn't too hard. Like, here's some of my heart masks. Because they're simple to cut out. And I used different hearts from different stamp sets. But... I tried to use stamp sets that came in kits, so most likely you guys would have them, but you could do any size cutout with any size stamps you want. So I used the two hearts in there, two, three hearts in here, two hearts in here, and that heart in there. So I just stamped, masked, stamped, masked, and as you can see, I'm in the process of coloring it in. Any of the solid hearts I used, I did with an array of rainbow ink, just different ink that I had in my stash because I didn't want the solid hearts to come out in black. And I plan on coloring these with my zigs. Okay, moving on. So, we have Pick day winner for the giveaway. I had my daughters, since I still don't have a lot of subscribers. Oh, I mean, definitely have more than I had three months ago. But there was only something like 24 comments and a total of 16 or 14 people that commented on the giveaway video. So I wrote them all down, fold them up, and I let my daughters pick uh, names out of a hat. And two of them insisted on picking names. So we have the winner of the original giveaway. 
And then we have a runner-up that's just going to get something small because they just insisted on picking two names. Okay. So, the runner-up, the second name picked out of the hat was Brianna Bergen. Bergen. And you're going to get, since I have two of these, uh, Tumbled Glass Distress Oxide ink. So if you want to, I'll write down my email address, but some of you already have it. If you want to send me your info to my email address, and I will get that out to you. Let me write this down real quick before I announce the winner of the, right, the monthly prize. Okay, there's that, and I'll do a close-up of that before we stop the video. So, the winner of this month's giveaway, the regular prize, is Patricia Piper. And Patricia, Patricia, excuse me, is going to get this pack of glitter and foil paper from Joann's and it's pink and purple which I thought goes well with you know what? I bought one for myself I don't want to open yours I thought this was perfect for Valentine's Day so we've got purple like a pink dark pink magenta and then a purple like a violet purple and it looks like you get two of each and then there's a magenta foil and a purple foil so that's yours and then we have like a very flourishy swirl stamp set that I thought would go well on Valentine's. You also get, which I also bought one of these for myself and I wanna do a video on cards you can make with this, this little stamp set. I know it's not much, but it is cute. And I shop these stores trying to find stamp sets for Valentine's Day and I swear, this was all I found. I I could not find anything, not even for myself. So I had to order all my stuff online. That's why I haven't been doing a lot of cards yet. Anyway, I thought this was cute. I had a couple cute sentiments. I adore you. True love, me and you. It's got a little envelope there with a heart. It's got this set of tiny little hearts, which I thought would make a cute border, and I intend on doing that with my set. I've already broken open my set and started using it. A little arrow, an XOXO, a key, and a couple of different hearts shaded in different areas, and this little tiny bow. So that's also yours, Patricia. And then we have a set of five red Miss Sparkle and Company A2 cards and envelopes and a set of purple set of five A2 cards and envelopes. And then last but not least, a love you die. So this will cut out love you and a heart. So I thought that'd be a cute little setup for Valentine's Day. So Patricia Piper, that is your giveaway prize. If you want to email, email me your information and uh, Brianna, Brina, I think it's Brina. Please correct me. I feel like a fool right now. Virgin. So that's my email address. Jenna, J-E-N-N-A-D-D-Z-Z-Z -Z -Z at gmail.com. And those are three Zs. Just send me your information. Uh, you guys have 48 hours or I'll have to give the prizes to somebody else. So this probably won't go out till 4.30. So we'll say 6 a.m., on the 18th of January. You guys have 48 hours from that date and time. I hope you guys have a wonderful Friday. I will be getting a video out hopefully tomorrow night now that I have this done. And I will talk to you guys soon. Oh, one more bit of news. I bought a ticket to go to the collaboration of Mary Polanco and Corin Whisk Whiskman. Excuse me doing their very first event together called On The Make. 
I do not know at this time if there's any tickets left, but when I bought mine on Sunday, there were still 18 left. It cost $50, which I thought was a bargain. It's in Savage, Maryland. If any of you can make it, you can go on Corin's Etsy shop and see if she has any tickets for On The Make left. Uh, I will be there, and hopefully I can get some video footage of my trip down there and everything else for you guys. I also, my Hero Arts kit for this month has shipped. I should have it by Tuesday. I did not buy the Simon Says Stamp regular kit for February, but I did buy the limited edition kit for Valentine's Day. So we'll have a lot of fun coming up with Valentine's Day and tutorials. Have, have a wonderful Friday. Have a wonderful weekend just in case something else happens. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> just in case something else happens and I can't get a video out as you can see like I said Jack's got me sick too okay I'm gonna end this now have a great night uh, don't forget to subscribe subscribe if you like what you see and hit that notification button for the next giveaway you'll certainly be notified if you do good night guys